So Man United have just beaten Liverpool 4 0 in the pre season friendly. It doesn't matter, but we've learned a few things about uh, Ten Hag's team and what they might look like going forward. So even though we know it doesn't matter, and Liverpool's team is mostly reserves and youth players, I've not even given the names here. Here's some of the things that we learned. So the first off, we thought he was going to play a 4 2 3 1, and he did. Again, it's a preseason friendly, it doesn't matter. But we saw the shape very clearly, very clearly a 4 2 3 1 like this. Changes in different phases of play. There were certain times when they were very, very narrow and compact out of possessions, particularly in wide areas. So trying to keep staying nice and compact, make sure the team can't play through you. That's one of the things we noticed with it. Uh, a very obvious one is that there's lots and lots of movement off the ball. So players constantly swapping positions, very fluid movement and utilizing different parts of the pitch. And um, when they attack, what you'd see is maybe the central striker, Martial, will be up here. The wide forwards would get very close, so they'd often be quite close together, like Sancho and Rashford, uh, who swapped sides often. But they stayed uh, together very close. Fernandez, obviously, with a, as a attacking eight, whatever, but he'd often go to the right-hand side of the midfield, and you'd have McTominay would sit then as a six, and Fred would go out to the left like this. You'd have this sort of triangle created all the time. That's one thing, and these guys would come in from the outside, so you've got that sort of movement there. Then you'd have the fullbacks, who oftentimes, Sort of pull. If Luke Shaw's up here, you'd often see them in a three like this. Dallo quite often as a as a three, and again you're creating your sort of passing angles here for recycling the ball and keeping possession. The ball was cleared, uh, so these guys would be here. But in possession, Dallo and Shaw always overlapping because when Shaw overlaps here, it means Rashford can come inside. That's a problem that they had maybe last season when they were playing Alex Tellers at left back was that he wasn't reading the runs he needed to make, which made players like Rashford and Sancho look worse because they weren't able to move inside when they wanted to when Shaw was unavailable. Same thing, Dallow on this right side, overlapping to give you the width, to create space inside for players like Rashford, Martial and Sancho to be there, and then Varane Lindelof can play quite high. But this is all the, kind of the shape, but what we really saw from them was a lot of aggression in and out of possession. So this is the thing that was very clear to me is different from what we have with Rangnick now into Ten Hag's team. So the first goal they score, let's have a look at that. Jaden Sancho scores it from this side of the pitch. So Sancho has swapped from right wing to the left. Um, Rashford's gone into sort of central area here. This is in the Man United attack. I think focused in the left because Shaw's ended up overlapping here. Um, the ball moves around. Now Martial drops deep, takes the defender with him to create this little bit of space here. So whenever you move as a striker, you create these sorts of pockets here. And Liverpool's team's really young. And you can explain, that this is very easily explainable. They're very young, they're sort of panicking, they don't really know what's going on. It's a good movement for Martial to drop in deep. Um, he finds McTominay over here. You've got Fernandez has creeped forward from midfield to this wide area to, over the other side of the left back. That's what he's doing here. Dallow's sort of next in line with him here. Shows over here. So trying to stay kind of compact out of possession so the ball does turn over, they can counter press and win it back. This is roughly what it looks like. Anyway, Martial comes here, uh, wants to play a 1 2 with McTominay, finds McTominay here, then wants to make this run in behind. McTominay has it here. He has to spin because the, the midfielder cuts off the angle back to Martial. So then he plays it out to Fernandez. Now Fernandez here receives the ball. At this point, he's now 1v1 with the left back. So what you're going to do is you're going to take him on the dribble, the left back can get close to him and tighten up to him and reduce the space. So what happens then is Dallow immediately makes overlapping runs. This is very basic stuff. But again, the kind of thing we didn't really see under Rangnick an awful lot, these sorts of very basic movements that they've clearly been working on in training. We've seen some videos from training. Uh, from their base in Thailand, and um, lots of overlapping runs, uh, underlapping runs from the for inside forwards, and uh, lots of third man runs. This is the run you're looking for with Dallo, but actually there's someone else making the run in behind like Martial. Anyway, the ball is where Fernandez. Fernandez holds up to allow the overlapping run. Dallo makes it. That pulls a bit of space over, so he now pulls over here. Left centre back pulls over a bit here. They're trying to get back into their shape now, and they're panicking getting back, because as he goes, they want to make sure they're sort of in line with him, because he's the furthest forward so that any crosses come in they can deal with. Now, Martial then makes his little run to the back post here. Fernandez has Dallow here and Rashford here. There's a lovely little one-two they can play. You play into Rashford, who plays into Dallow, because he makes his run here, and then you've got Dallow here in this really dangerous area where you can send the ball into this high value area to get a shot away. But this is kind of a dummy, and this is why the movement's so important. You don't have to actually receive the ball to have made a really good run. Dallow goes wide here, the ball doesn't go here. Instead, Fernandez plays one of his little trademark balls, to the back post, just like this. Ball goes in here, Martial doesn't win the header, centre-back does, it drops, Sancho finishes really well. Now the point here, like this is all kind of very basic stuff going on, but United have committed a lot of players forward very quickly. It's very, very aggressive pushing these months of players forward, because if there's a turnover, 
There was a lot of space all over the pitch that I can't draw you because uh, I just can't do it today. There we go, loads of space everywhere, loads of players ready to, to counter. And this is the next thing we saw from United, is that they were pressing really, really high and super aggressive. So the, the pressing aggressively does not mean you have to have everyone at the front of the pitch running at defenders. That's not necessarily what it means. It means all over the pitch, they are tight to the opposition. So United's pressing shape out of possession, very clearly a four, I'll draw you the line, a two, and a three, and a one. But what you'd get often is that one of these midfield, the double pivot of Fred and McTominay, one of them would come up to join to form a sort of four to press as they would make it. So Martial might show the ball wide here, the ball would head enough to go here, Sancho might push here, which means maybe Fernandez would come out. But if you move Fernandez out, you lose the gap here. So then one of these pushes out, you see. And that means you're keeping this shape here, you're blocking the middle of the pitch, not allowing free passes through the middle. If McTominay and Fred stay here and Fernandez pulls out, this guy is open, he can move into space to receive it. So they're making sure that they're flooding the middle of the pitch, always someone there to not necessarily necessarily win the ball, but you're trying to put off someone putting that easy pass into a pivot player who can then turn and start the counter-attack. It's really dangerous. So one of these pulling forward, and that's why they're doing that there. And then if this happens here, one of the centre-backs might step up into midfield to try and make sure that then there's not a free person over here. It's very, very aggressive. And if I even see it right back when they're receiving the ball in build-up, is that the centre-backs go so wide, they're essentially a full-back. Lindelof, or when Bailly was on later on, and whoever else was playing at centre-back, Alex Tellez played at uh, left-back, um, at left centre-back later in the game. So these guys would pull out so wide here because they've got a centre midfielder like McTominay or Fred who would drop in to give you your three. That's what I mean about being aggressive. Super high risk, because if Fred turns the ball over, which he's likely to, <laughs> around here, you've got Darwin Nunez runs in through and go 1v1 with De Gea, that's not good. This is what they do, pull it really wide, because then that means the fullbacks can push up even higher. So Dallow can go up here, Shaw can go up here, and that means that Sancho, who would be out here, can go inside the pitch, and suddenly you've got more numbers, you've got more on attack, so you can get combinations. Like straight away you've got these three, four guys so close together, because they're allowed to by the width you've got here. And it just it opens up the pitch for you essentially by being high risk, but you get high rewards for it. As we see in the third goal that United scored in this preseason friendly, which doesn't matter, it's a friendly. But if the ball's round about here, say I think this midfielder is pressured by one of the Man United midfielders, Fernandez leaves his position as a 4 2 3 1 number 10 to come out and chase this left back. Something he, he does it often before, but he's really aggressively pushing this left back who then is forced to play a ball early back to the LCB, the left centre-back, and then Martial just runs into him. He makes a bit of a mistake. This is Reese Williams here, it's an unfortunate mistake. He's young, this is why it doesn't matter, it's a friendly. Martial steals it. United are really high and pushed up. Martial can run through and finishes. But you see constantly when Liverpool had the ball, when they want to build out like this, Fernandes would be blocking this guy. Martial would be showing the ball either side by making a curved run to show the ball either way. Then you'd have the centre midfielders would be here, and at certain points it'd be zonal and then they become man to man to make sure that there's not a single person there. So when Bobby Firmino was playing in the first half, he'd often drop as a false nine to these sorts of positions and the guy with him, either Varane or Lindelof, would follow him in. It creates this sort of gap, which is not ideal. You see that in the back four? That's not ideal. But they know it's there. So then essentially, this guy would drop in here to form a back three with these three, which is what you saw. So there'll be some bespoke tactics for this game because they might know what some of Liverpool's movements are going to be off the ball, like Firmino especially. Um, and it, again, it, it's a friendly, it doesn't matter. But there's lots we saw with this Man United team to show that we think we know what Ten Hag is going to be doing with them now. He's going to be really aggressive, super attacking, they're going to commit players forward. Now and again, if that is what they do, that's going to come undone because you'll leave space and a single mistake will turn over to a counter-attack. Uh, but yeah. Lots of promising signs, very interesting, a couple of good goals. Fred scored a, a chip from here. It was really lovely. You can probably find the clip on, on Twitter. So do that. But that's what we learned, sort of, from uh, Man United's 4-0 win over Liverpool in pre-season. Oh, another thing we learned is that this guy, Zidane Iqbal, he's a player. He's good. Little number six. That's it. Have fun! If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. The Athletic is home to some of the world's best sports journalists, including David Ornstein, Daniel Taylor, Ollie Kay, Amy Lawrence and Rafa Honigstein. There are journalists dedicated to each Premier League team, so every fan gets the coverage they deserve, not just the big clubs. And you can try it for free now for 30 days. See the link in the description.